Hey guys, I realize I'm like halfway in darkness. I don't know why this side of my face is in darkness. Like, the lighting in this room is crap. I may go back to making videos in um, my living room. But anyways, I wanted to do a wedding update because um, today is the two week mark. My wedding is in exactly two weeks and I absolutely can't believe that it's here. I can't believe it went so fast. I just cannot believe it. If you've ever planned a wedding before, you know that like the last few weeks just go by so quickly and it's really scary it's just kind of upon you all of a sudden and then you're like bam you're getting married and you didn't even like not that you didn't think it through properly but you didn't even kind of realize how quickly it would happen anyways so I wanted to update you guys on a few things because I know that not all of you watch the vlogs um, if you don't know about our daily vlog channel I have a daily vlog channel with my fiance and um, we're actually counting down the days to our wedding now so you can follow like all the stuff that we do like all the preparations and all of that fun stuff so that's going on over there but I know that not everybody watches that so I wanted to give you guys an update like a two week update of what's been going on um, as most of you guys know I'm getting married in Italy so we're kind of organizing for that and it's so stressful like to try and travel with a dress and like oh my god it's just crazy but whoops oops, I just dropped something um actually I'm gonna put these down because I don't need them yet but um yeah so we're trying to organize all that and my mom and my two sisters who are my bridesmaids they left for Italy well they're leaving tomorrow they're in Dublin right now because they had to fly to Dublin first um so they technically left yesterday but they're really leaving tomorrow if that makes sense so, because they're going for two weeks, we're going for one. And they're kind of making it their summer holiday. So, that was really weird. Like, I, last night was the last night that I ate, ate dinner at my parents' house as, like, an unmarried woman. It was crazy. Like, when the realization set in, it was just so weird. But anyways, um, so, I wanted to do this video kind of about, like, my accessories. Because I'm obviously not going to show you guys my dress. If you've watched my daily vlogs, you'll have seen like a sneak preview of it, but not the whole thing. Also, the dress, I don't have it right now. It's at the um, alterations place. Sorry if I'm talking funny, but my teeth are really sore right now because I'm doing this like whitening thing. And it makes them really sensitive, so I feel like I have to swallow all the time <laughs> because it's like painful. Like not painful to swallow, but like my teeth are just so sensitive. Anyways, so... Let me just first off let you in on Jonathan, my fiance's suit. Um, so as you know, if you've watched my other videos, my wedding theme, like the colors, are neutrals. So everybody's wearing, well not everybody, but like everybody in the bridal party is wearing like all different shades of nude. Um, or like neutrals, so like browns, beige, tan, cream. My sister is wearing mahogany, like all those kind of brands and neutrals and stuff. So that's my color scheme. This is Jonathan's suit that he got yesterday. And it is linen. So it's going to be light for because it's in the summertime and it's in um, Sorrento. So it's going to be really hot. Um, but it is in the evening. It's an evening wedding. So um, yeah, so this is a suit and it's kind of like a, I wouldn't even call this a beige. I would call this more like a taupe or something yeah like a taupe my two sisters are wearing um, taupe shoes as well so it's all gonna be like matching it's gonna be really cool and then it's got like a cream stripe through it and um, I love this suit it's so like nice the material as well um, and then he's just wearing a oh crap he's gonna kill me I dropped the pants um, let me just put this away <laughs> he's wearing a white shirt as well so just and no tie just like he's not really into like the whole formal look anyway so it just doesn't really suit him but um yeah so I love that and then oh I forgot to say um today oh, the lighting is so crap in here seriously like is that oh no and then you can see an ugly old laundry basket remember this no, I don't know anyways okay so this is my hair and my makeup for my wedding I probably should have and like enter the video, started the video like that, but yeah, I did my makeup exactly how I'm going to do it on my wedding day, a neutral lip, um, uh, oh, a car Carl Cheek, um, yeah, just very, like, 
keeping in theme with the colors of the wedding. I have gold, brown, uh, really, really light pearly pink, and that's about it. And then some brown eyeliner on the bottom, some black liquid liner or gel liner on the top. I'll, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on my wedding makeup, anyways. But that's what I have. This is how I'm going to. This is how I'm going to look. Okay, here on my wedding day. Isn't that freaky? Anyways, and this is my hair. Now I did my hair myself. I did my makeup myself as well. But I want you guys to see because I was inspired by um, Jessica Alba's hairstyles. I hope this kind of translates, you know, I hope you guys will get it, but yeah, it's kind of like a, not messy, I wouldn't call this messy, I would call this like textured, not too like um, sleek or anything, this is the back, I might be coming out a little bit now, I think I need another bobby pin, you can see the, um, the kind of idea I was going for, um, it's actually easier than I thought when I put the little flower here because I'm going to be facing this way. Uh, when I'm standing up at the, <coughs> excuse me, when I'm standing up at the, not the altar because it's not a church, but you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, that's how I'm going to do my hair, but I'm going to do a tutorial on that too. It's actually way easier than you would think. I didn't really even research it or anything. I just kind of looked at her hair, tried out a few things, and voila, that's what I came up with. So, uh, next thing is this. Um, this is my necklace that I'm going to be wearing on my wedding day and the reason for that is because it was my dad's let me zoom in a little bit and show you so it's a Scorpio um, oh no that's too close sorry is that going to focus? no okay forget it um, it's a Scorpio necklace it's gold it was his he used to wear it um, not really when I knew him, but like when he was younger, I mean, and he kept it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to wear this because he's not going to be with me, like, in person on my wedding day. But, so that's why I'm wearing this. And then, um, I'm actually kind of, plan I like it, like, in general. Like, my mom just gave it to me the other day, yesterday, actually. And I think I'm going to wear this, like, until the, the wedding day. I hate that my hair, my face, like, this side of my face is dark. It's so Anyways. Okay. Um... So that's my wedding necklace. I have to sort out earrings. I don't know what I'm going to do. I kind of feel like I want pearls, but I'm not really sure. So I have to sort that part out. If you have any suggestions of what kind of e um, <laughs> emails, what? <laughs> earrings I should wear, just leave your comments down below. I swear, my brain has turned to mush. Like, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Um, so yeah, and then for my, for my bracelet, let me just show you. This is my something borrowed. You know how you're supposed to wear like something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. I still have to organize my blue thing as well. I have no idea what that's going to be. Like no clue. Unless I like, you know, color it with a marker, a blue marker. Like color one of the petals of these blue. Like I actually have no idea what I'm going to Because I hate, like I hate the fact that blue is not in my wedding at all. So how is that going to work? I don't know. Anyways, so this is my something old, obviously. Um, and then the dress is my something new, and then this is my something borrowed. So this is my mom's um, pearl, oh god, the lighting is crap, pearl bracelet. And she has a matching necklace, but I hate wearing like matching sets of jewelry together. I just have a thing about it. Um, although they're really nice. So that's what it looks like. It's very like, there you go, there's a better view. Um, it's very vintage E <laughs> vintage. Just vintage, yeah. Um, it was, I think this was bought in Naples. Yeah. <laughs> this is why I don't have nice jewelry, because I just break it. Um, it's not broken, it just fell. But anyways, um, I think she bought, I think, my dad definitely bought this for her. But I think it might have been in Naples, which is kind of cool, you know. Now, now I look red. Now my whole face looks red. I don't know what's going on here. Anyways. So. That's going to be cool, so now let me know, okay, about the, the earrings, let me know what you think. So, uh, next thing I want to show you guys, because I realized I hadn't shown you yet, this is very old. This could actually pass as my old thing, but I'm not going to be wearing it up the aisle, so never mind. Um, this is my clutch, my wedding clutch, and I just actually got this for my Debs, my prom, for those of you that don't know what a Debs is. Um... It's vintage. This is like proper vintage. Like I got it in a vintage shop. Look how old it is. Look. 
Look at all that staining there, but I love it. It's like beaded. You can't fit anything in this. Like it's the stupidest thing ever. I think these kind of clutches are dumb anyways. Like what are you gonna fit in there? Like seriously, what? You can't fit your phone in there? Not if you have an iPhone. You can fit like a lip gloss, lips, not even lipstick. Lip gloss, maybe an eyeliner. <laughs> I don't know, a tampon, <laughs> that's it. So. That's what it looks like, but it's just, it's gorgeous. I got it in a vintage shop, but that's now closed down, so that sucks. Um, my shoes, you guys have seen my shoes, but I'm going to show you them again because I'm in love with them. These are them. So beautiful. They're from, oh, it has a price on. They're from Roland Cartier. I had never heard of that before, but I love these. They're pointy, two-inch heel, my favorite ever type of feel to wear. I'm going to do this wrong. Then, now see, we're getting a little bit personal here, but I had to show you this because I bought it yesterday and I'm just so proud of it. I got my wedding, I ha already have my, um, they actually match even though I didn't get them at the same time. I ha already have my wedding underwear, the bottoms. Um, I'm not going to show them to you because that's just way too personal, but you can just imagine them. They look a little bit like the top, the bra that I'm going to show you right now. I'm wearing a sweetheart neckline dress. So I got this bra yesterday and I absolutely love it. It's so cute. It's from La Senza. How cute is that? Oh my God. Like seriously, doesn't this remind you of Swan Lake? This screams to me Swan Lake. Look, look at that. It looks like feathers here. You know, like, oh my God. And I saw it and I was like, it's perfect color. Matches the underwear part, the bottom part. It's gorgeous. It's got this little rhinestone thingy here. Um, and it's perfect for my wedding dress. It's not too padded because I have padded ones that were just too crazy with the dress. You need something like fitted, you know? Um, so cute and it looks so cute on as well. So I cannot wait to see what that looks like underneath the dress. Um, not that you can see it, but you know, like I, I haven't been able to try on my dress with like the proper bra yet, so that kind of sucks. But um, oh my god, I love that so much. So I, I got that in Lucenza, did I say that? Yeah, and um, it wasn't actually that expensive. Oh, and it's made with real silk. Score. Yeah. So that's really cool. It wasn't that expensive, it was 40 euros, which to me is expensive, but like actually it's not because my other bras from La Senza are kind of the same price. So that's actually a really good deal. Anyways, that's everything I think that I wanted to tell you guys. Um, the other thing is the bridesmaids gifts, which they kind of know what they're getting anyway, so I don't really care about seeing it on here. But um, the bridesmaids are actually gonna be getting little gold necklaces. Not, not, um, not unlike this one, uh, but they're going to be little leaves, I think, like a little very delicate, like, gold leaf necklace. I think that will be cute, because they're all wearing different dresses. Oh, yeah, I saw my, um, my two sisters, who are bridesmaids, in their, um, bridesmaids dresses yesterday, and they looked so nice. Uh, Erica, who's my youngest sister, she's wearing a blush, or, no, it's kind of like a nude or a blush kind of um, colored dress, silk, and then Emma, my other sister, is wearing a mahogany dress, and like the two of them together look absolutely amazing, and then um, my other bridesmaids have like different shades of like the same family. It's, I am so looking forward to like just seeing everybody's like colors, and I'm just going to be like, wow, you know, <laughs> I'm such a weirdo. <laughs> um, so yeah, oh, oh, that's the other thing I wanted to say, okay. There's one more thing. Um, this is the nail polish that I'm going to be wearing on my wedding day. I don't know if I'm going to do a French polish because, or a French manicure because um, I don't know if I'm good enough. I may just do this only and leave the tips because I have quite long nails anyway. So my t and my tips are very white, um, like naturally. So I might just leave it because I was even looking at it on camera. The other day, this is going to be ridiculously long, but anyway, sorry. Um, I was looking at my nails on camera the other day, and I had the French tips on, 
badly done, but they were there. And it looked the same as like when I have either no polish on or have like clear or something. So I was kind of like, okay, because I do have long nails. Well, for the most part, this one's short, this one's short, this one's short, but the rest are long. So if I do that, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, see these two, they're probably my proudest, my proudest possessions. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. What? Um, so yeah, so the nail polish that I'm going to wear for sure, because this is like my favorite nail polish ever, um, is OPI's Privacy Please. And that's what it looks like. Stop focusing on my face. There we go. Um, and yeah, there we go. There's the shade Privacy Please. Um, it's just a really nice, neutral, light pink. Um, it's going to go really well and it's a perfect like wedding shade and then um, it's actually similar to the highlight of my of my eyes yes um, and then for my toes you can't see my toes anyway because I'm going to be wearing like shoes that are covered like my toes are going to be covered but I have a weird thing about like wearing light colors on my toes I have a light color on my toes right now I don't really like my feet can I just put that out there I don't like my feet very much so I have a light color on my toes right now and I'm not really a fan. I prefer dark. Not not like dark, dark. Like the lightest I'd go is probably like coral or like this this color. This isn't coral actually. It probably looks it looks coral on camera, but it's not. It's like a it's called Wild Mink. It's by China Glaze. Um, so it's like a pink. But anyways, that's probably the lightest I would go because I just hate my toes with like no. I I don't know. I'm weird. So I was thinking of this. This is by NYC, and it is a dark brown. Um, what's this called? Midtown Mink. Oh, Wild Mink, Midtown Mink. They're a good color combo, actually. But anyways, so I think I might wear this because um, you're not going to see my toes anyway. I know it's not a very wedding color, but it is a wedding color of mine. So yeah, you know? Anyways. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, let me know your thoughts down below um, on everything. Let me know what you think in general. I really like my hair. It's coming out. Look at that. It's coming out. I'm going to have to practice this a little, a little bit, but um, we'll be fine. Won't we? Yeah, we'll be fine. <laughs> it just has to stay in place for when I walk down the aisle. That's it. Okay, so thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, don't forget to check out my blog. I'll probably be updating you guys on there a lot more and um, I will talk to you in my next video.